Yo, you guys already know a giant update for Funky Farty has just dropped. It's gonna be a pretty long video, so make sure you guys smack the like so everybody knows what's gonna be in this next update. Subscribe as well, and let's dive right into those new features. So what's new for November 26th, they got a 50% off point sale when you buy points. They've added in a ton of new mods, 6 new animations, and also 2 new map backgrounds, as well as a new multi-key game mode. Let's dive right into it all. So our cheapest new animation is going to be the Antiphalobia Ron, 500 points for this one. This is what this animation looks like on idle, left, down, up and then right as well. Pretty simple, not bad. Let's see how it looks like with some gameplay. Yeah, it's a really simple animation for 500 points. You can't really go wrong with that one. Next up, we do got the Bambi animation as well. This one is going to cost about 650 points as well. This is what the Bambi animation looks like on idle, left, down, up and then right as well. There you go, bro. I kind of like when you press up. You like do a little quick of a pose right there, man. Yeah, they did a great job with the baby animation. Whenever you press up, you do like a pretty cool pose. I kind of like that a lot. Next up, we got the gold animation from the Lullaby mod. This one is going to cost you 650 points as well. This is what this animation looks like on idle. He <laughs> like hunched over. That's kind of funny. I kind of like that. Left, down, up, and then right as well. Oh my gosh, that looks demonic, bro. It's kind of funny, especially with my Roblox avatar. You're like hunched over forward like that. It, it looks funny. But they did a great job with that one. I like that a lot. Next up, we do got the Dave animation as well. 700 points for this one. It's going to be more expensive than Bambi. This is what this one looks like on idle. You're in a wheelchair, boys. Left, down, up, and then right as well. There you go, dude. Looks pretty nice. Here's how it looks like with some gameplay. Not bad, I do like the animation, though I feel like they could have put a little bit more detail, especially on the wheelchair itself. Maybe we might see an upgraded version of it in the future, but it looks pretty good nonetheless. Here we go, now we're getting to the big guns when it comes to animations here. Huggy Wuggy animation, 1,250 points. This is what it looks like on idle, you got Huggy Wuggy holding you. Left, down, up and then right as well boys man that looks insane bro. i love this one though whenever you press right you kind of go off screen i kind of wish that wasn't the case but then again you know field of view camera settings As already know, Tembrush always outperforms whenever he does his animation, so this one's no different, honestly. Why am I Roblox? I think Roblox is down again, boys. Especially when it comes to inventory, I'm a freaking noob now. Great. Now, in order to unlock Cheating Bambi, you need to have the Dave and Bambi animations already bought. So here we go, we got them all ready to go. Let's confirm and let's showcase that one. This is what it looks like on idle, left, down, up, and then right as well. Oh my god, bro. Jumping right in and cheating already, but that's how it looks like. It looks pretty cool. And gameplay wise, animation does look pretty nice. I do like it. It definitely, like I said before in the leak video, it definitely represents cheating Bambi pretty well here. So, really great animation overall as well. As for new map backgrounds, first of which we got Bam's Farm, which is pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. This was created by Vern. No, yeah, this looks pretty great. I'm not going to lie about that. Look at this, it looks like you're in the middle of an ocean or something. I'm not sure if that is the background they intend to go with, but I do like that they went with like the dunes and stuff like that. It's like you're at the beach, at the farm as well. It's pretty nice, I like it. We do have the abandoned center background as well. I thought this was gonna be center center because I saw that, but that's actually from the lullaby mod. Now they did change the Pokemart with Cerno Center because of copyright issues. I mean, you can't have Poke Centers in Roblox. You're gonna get copyrighted for that by Nintendo. But overall, it looks like a really great map. It's definitely very unsettling. You know, it's very, uh, I would say very scary, very dark, but it definitely fits the mood of the mod 100%. And we do have a new game mode as well. This is going to be introducing five key setup. 
Yeah, five keys is gonna be pretty insane. Left down, space, up right. We're gonna be trying this out in a song later on in the video. And yeah, they do have a point sale going on right now. You guys can buy points for 50% off. So that means you spend less money in order to buy more points. I'm actually gonna buy some right now in order to help what? support the developers. But that's pretty much it for new features and animations and such. How about let's go to some public servers and we'll check out a song from each mod. I'm not gonna be able to do Chameleon Week 2, unfortunately, because of the copyrighted songs. But we'll try out some of the other mods for sure. All right, here we go, boys. Dave and Baby Mod finally in Funky Friday. Can you actually believe that? Except we're gonna be trying out Apple Core. I'm not sure if this is actually Whoa, from the song. Dave and Baby Mod. It, I think it might be a, a special song actually, because it's different color compared to all the other songs on the song selection. What? <laughs> is that actually Baby Talker or something? That's pretty lit right there, man. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's see what we got in here, though, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Definitely super fast paced charting right here, especially the beginning part of the section right here, dude. Pretty insane over here. Here we go. Oh my god. A little bit of a slip up right there. I wasn't expecting those chartings at all right there, man. I do like the background sound, especially when it comes to like the instrumentals and everything like that. And also, oh my god, what the heck is this charting, bro? Bro. That's like. The end charting right there. I wasn't even expecting that at all, bro. What was that, bro? Oh my gosh. Bro, too many jacks in that section, man. Oh my gosh, man. I guess this is why you guys like David Baby, though. <laughs> all the jacks and everything. It is such a hoot to play, though. I'm not gonna lie about that. Here we go. <laughs> this was with those sound effects going on, man. I freaking love it, bro. Honestly, I freaking love it. Dude, our opponent has 178 misses at the moment, bro. He was doing so good in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, like, all heck breaks loose. Like, what the heck's going on, bro? Then again, look at the charting, bro. <laughs> at least it's not as bad as most other songs, though, you know what I mean? It's not as bad as, like, some of the crazier songs that we've seen out there, for sure. But this song is definitely pretty cool. What the Blaze doing? Rocking with that jukebox, man. There you go, here we go. Oh, my God! What is this? Bro, 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 chill. This song's gonna chill. <laughs> this song's gonna chill, bro. That is a lot of freaking jacks over there. Look at my opponent go. Oh my god. He's in the 400 misses, bro. That's ridiculous, man. Oh my god, bro. This is like the craziest song I have seen probably in a while, man. I'm not gonna lie about that. I don't know why I chose Apicor, bro. This is an insane song right here, especially from David Bammy Mod, man. Jeez, man. There he goes again, boys. And here I go again. <laughs> this song's absolutely ludicrous, man. I can't believe it, man. Then again, I can't believe that they actually added in Dave and Bambi to Funky Friday as well. Especially since they had to sort out all the swearing and all the censorships and everything like that. So it's really nice that they're able to add in Dave and Bambi to Funky Friday finally. Oh, here we go, boys. Now we got versus Ron, the full week V2 version as well. It's going to be Violent Manipulation from the B-side version as well. So we got the regular version, and then you also got the B-side version as well. I think I like the B-side remixes a lot better than the original, especially since the B-side remixes just adds a little more, you know, it adds a little bit more prep to the music, you know what I mean? It just sounds a lot better in general. But here we go. It's a very short song though. It's only like a minute long. I'm, pre I'm pretty surprised by that actually. But then again, most of the songs from this mod aren't like super long songs. Most of them are about one to two minutes long at most, which is okay. It makes up for it because it sounds so great. You know what I'm saying? But can we just take a second to uh, like talk about my opponent's input arrows right here, bro? I mean, it's working for him. He's got 100% accuracy at the moment. I'm not gonna like call him out on that, but bro, that's some pretty interesting arrow combinations right there, man. I'm just saying, bro. Oh, I almost had a full combo right there. All right, here we go, boys. A five-key song, finally. DF space JK is going to be my key binds for this one. I think it's going to be easier than using, like, six keys, but let's see what we got in here, man. There you go, Wada. He's doing it. He's doing it. Okay, my turn. Oh, man. It's definitely going to take some time getting used to this, though. I'm not going to lie about that, bro. But it's a lot more easier than six keys. I think five keys is actually going to be a lot more easier 
to like, you know, for a beginner trying to get into multi keys or something like that. I feel like this would be a great mode to start off with. Especially if you want to try to get better at 6 keys, 7 keys, and also 9 keys. So, like, this would be a perfect, uh, step up right there, man. Here we go. Oh, bro. Definitely a, d a bit different than 4 keys. That's one thing for sure. Just that extra key throws everything off big time right here, man. Now, I've never actually played this mod as well. It's very interesting, though. I'm not gonna lie about that. This might be one of the first mods I've seen have five key support which is gonna be pretty nice like like i said before it's gonna be a great way to introduce yourself into multi key so you guys definitely should take advantage of it big time right here and i would probably use dfjk and then space for the middle button i think that's gonna be a good key bind for you so good luck next up we got the baby blue brother mod as well i've never really played this one as well tamper tantrum it does sound very familiar though i'm not gonna lie about that dude this song definitely sounds familiar it might actually like the name of it might actually come from a different mod i'm not 100 percent sure so i know for certain that we played a song in the past that was called temper tantrum as well it might be of the lucky boy mod actually no now knowing that background as well, I might actually be the Monkey Boy mod as well, but here we go. Okay, okay. Pretty interesting start so far. Great charting though, I definitely gotta give him that one in that regard. Great charting. Now we're getting a little bit more aggressive right here. Here we go, here we go. Crazy Root going off as always, man. Oh my gosh. But it's my turn to go off as well here. Oh, boys! I mean, I only got one miss so far, and he has no misses so far. He's just too much of a pro, but hey, where else? We're standing on ground. We're standing on ground right here, man. Here we go. She man. Definitely, I like the charring, though. And the sound effect definitely sounds interesting as well. Like, just listening to Baby Blue Brothers Vocaloid, it has that very high-pitched, distinctive vocal as well. Like, you can't miss it at all, man. Doing that shimmy shimmy shank right there, KXQ, I see you. Everybody's gotta try and cut that Huggy Wuggy animation though. I can't I, like I can't express enough dude. The Huggy Wuggy animation, Tambrush has put in a lot of work and a lot of effort into it as well. It looks really great overall too, so everybody should definitely try and cop that animation if possible, man. It's definitely worth the 1250 points big time right here, man. Oh man, let's get a little bit more difficult here. I like that, I like that, I see. Oh man! Insanity right there, boys. But yeah, Baby Blue Brother mod. Another great mod as well. I do like the charting in this one. It sounds great so far, so definitely give it a try as well. All right, you guys already know Trance from the Aflock mod, also known as a speed running song from all your, you know, for all of you Dream fans out there, man. Just listen to it, boys. Honestly, we're getting some Dream in a Funky Friday as well, which is pretty lit. Imagine if Dream actually played Funky Friday, bro. <laughs> and then he listened to his own song being played in the background. I bet he's going to be pretty impressed by it. I bet he's going to be like, what the heck? Why is my theme song being played in this Roblox game, bro? Like, honestly. Pretty easy charting so far. I'm really glad that they recharted most of the songs from the Aflac mod. We're not going to try all of them on the video, but I have I did hear some great reports afterwards of, like, the end being recharged, a lot more fair, a lot less spammy as well, so I'm really glad that they were able to add in the recharts for Aflac in a Funky Friday. I mean, we, we have seen other Roblox games, FNF games specifically, add in those recharts, so it's nice to see that Funky Friday is, uh, you know, changing the charts on it as well. And this makes it a lot more fair, especially when it comes to multiplayer FNF games like this. So next up, we do got Mount Silver Overlost. Now this one, is, I think it's gonna actually be another fan-made song. So we did get two fan-made songs in this update, which is pretty interesting. We're gonna give it a try. It's made by the Bandbots and FNF Lullaby team as well. Pretty interesting start. I think it is gonna be like an extra lullaby song, which is pretty nice here. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's like a monochrome remix. That sounds great. Here we go. That is actually pretty nice, especially with the piano in the background. It just adds to the song, man. I'll be quiet so you guys can actually take a peek at it. Yeah, 
it sounds a lot better than the original Monochrome, and they might actually remix some other songs as well into it. I'm not 100% sure. But I definitely like this fan made version uh, compared to the original Monochrome as well so far. It just adds a little bit of complexity, especially with extra uh, instrumentals going on in the background. Also, the piano just makes it sound a little bit more classical as well. You're more at ease when you're playing this version of it for sure. Dude, we both got full combos at the moment too. It's actually going down to the wire right here, man. I better not uh, mess up right here. Otherwise, I'll be really, really bad. I'll be no bueno at all, man. Here we go. We got it so far, though. The occasional screams that you hear in the song also kind of puts you unsettling as well, you know what I mean? Kind of gets you a little... Uh, kind of scares you a little bit, man. I'm not going to lie about that. Especially when you're playing at night. Like, it just adds extra fear to that song, man. You know, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Here we go, finally got a miss! I think we might be able to pull away right here, man. Here we go, let's see what we got. Hey, full combo in here, boys! That's what is up in here. All right, boys, so Applecore is actually a fan-made song. How about we try out an official David Baby song? This time, Unfairness. Yeah, you already know, it's gonna be pretty crazy right here. Already starting off with those notes that what the Blaze is doing! Look at them drop, man! All those raw notes is dropping already, man! <laughs> I'm gonna be say I'm gonna be going through that same phase, buddy. Just you watch, man. Oh my god! I wasn't even ready for that! Are you freaking kidding me, bro? I wasn't even ready for that, man! Oh my gosh! Right, here we go. <laughs> it's like the end stuff right there, man! How does anybody play this? I want to see Silly Fan fully combo this song, bro. I don't think he's going to be able to, and if he actually does, he's built different. You know, he's definitely built different, if that's the case. But right, here we go. We got it. I'm starting to get the pattern sound, though. It's a lot of doubles. It's definitely a lot of doubles, especially when it comes to the patterns and everything like that. So if you can get your doubles down, I think you do pretty well with this song. If you can't get your doubles down, then you're definitely gonna get you're definitely gonna struggle on this song big time. Like you can see me struggling right now already. <laughs> like what the heck, bro? I can't do this song at all, bro. Oh my gosh, this keeps dropping. David Bambi's is built different, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> it's like break my keyboard at this point. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh my gosh. How is what the blaze doing so good, bro? He has like less misses than I do at the moment, man. Like, how is that even possible? I mean, he might have less misses than I do, but I get a better accuracy when it comes to him, which, you know, explains why we get the higher score. But, bro, unfairness is truly unfair, man. I'm just saying, man.